and welcome back. So, we're back here in Light Matter and we've met Ellen. We've got a little friendly lamp, a companion lamp, you could call it. And we have, uh, we don't know exactly what's going on, but this looks amazing. I love the way the, the colors are done. Like the choice of not making it monochromatic, like black and white, but adding another dimension and that juicy purple, pinkish. Always a good idea. Whoa, oh no! Oops. I forgot to turn it. Alright, good thing that doesn't... There we go. That one's better. I, that must be possible. I think. Double jump. Hello, the, bo the boss. Oh, it resets. So I have to position this so that it also covers this round. Somehow. Is that gonna work it? No. <laughs> it's not a lot of space. It's not enough space. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, if just so that people understand what the darkness does, then I'm just proving it. And, and I think that everyone just needs 10 good examples of what happens then before. Come on, give me light. Well, that's an awful, awfully low amount of light. Hmm. Oops. Damn, so I have to actually jump, be able to jump back. That's actually a problem. Could not be like a... Okay, are we missing something back here? Uh -huh. Nope, that's a locked door. Okay. So I can't place this in the shadow, but I can place it here. Huh. I don't see how I would be able to get out there with... I mean, ideally I would want this one positioned on here. Okay, let's just see if... Okay, so the next question is why... Why is this one here? So, I, I don't think I can... Uh, can do it from here as soon as I p if I pick up the lamp I die and this one I really don't get this I, f I feel I'm missing some options but that's kind of the point isn't it I don't even cast a shadow I can get over here. What would that achieve for us? A whole lo lot of nothing, especially when I fall off the edge. Mm. Mm. Well... I 
just need to get over there. But the only place I can go is this one. Because this stupid lamp only points one direction. And my my next thought was I'm just gonna walk my walk through what I was thinking is my next thought was just I I can Oh I can place another oh, okay. Uh that's actually okay, never mind, then I know what to do. There. There. I just didn't think I could place them on uh, on uh, yeah on safe ground. Okay, well. So I wonder if this one should be used to capture the other one or claim the other one. Drink. So now we have two lights. Sweet. Uh, yeah. What's in here? Nothing it seems. But I know what. I think this one is here so that I can get a better range. Yeah. Like that, right? I like. Uh, this one's not necessary. Can I... If I place it, it will... No, so I I lost that lamp. Ooh, I think we made it. Ellen here. I don't know what Cheers. to do. I was sleeping in the lab when suddenly I felt something on my head. I opened my eyes and Arthur is standing over me in the dark holding a vial. Before I could do or say anything, he just said it's for the better. What? How exactly is pouring liquids into my hair for the better? <laughs> liquids? I wish Standing I in the dark? But there he was. Arthur. The CTO of Light Matter Technologies. The man I spent years working with. The man I am helping to save the world. I could barely recognize him. Yeah, I was just thinking... Shampoo? Okay. I mean, it, it's kind of not what bosses are supposed to do. Sneaking up on their employees in the dark and pouring... Uh, ooh, 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 okay. What? Did I just get... Did I just go back to where I came from? What? Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe. There we go. Wow, I just got confused for a sec. So I'd like to get up here, which is probably a lamp over there pointing that direction. Hmm. Okay, well this looks okay for now. Hmm. This seems a bit far to jump. That also seems a bit far. This seems... No? I could jump this one with three ticks. That's the same distance. Same distance everywhere. Uh-huh. Okay, that didn't work. So this one is the same all around. Where am I supposed to go? I have no idea which one I came from. Probably came from one of these. All right, let's just explore. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my objective is I need a lamp over on that corner. I think. Uh. 
in principle, I guess. Oof. Oops. Hmm. Where did I want the light again? What does that do for us? Uh, not much. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think I got an idea. I'll take this off and bounce it one more time. There. Then I will do this so I can get this lamp. Uh, okay, I can't get it, though. What? This was whence I came? And this is where we realize that it's not further far enough back to enable us to do this. So I can mm -hmm. So I need this to be over there. What if I click it once more? No. I need a lamp that way and over there. Right, so I... Whoa, that lamp is not on board. I thought it was. Oh, never mind should have been Should be able to get to that one. Is this where I want it? I uh, no. Oh, what? I thought I had to place it here, pointing that direction. What am I missing now? Whoops. I think I got something here. That one. But... So... The whole concept I thought about was just... That looked like an, a ledge where I could put a lamp and just pointing it this way. It doesn't seem to be... A ledge at that point. Because that would be... Over here. Eh. Further that way. And that's not the case. So... Let me just look at options here. Nope, nope. That was too early. Okay, let's... I can still get both lamps out that way. Maybe that's what I just need to do. Maybe I just overcomplicated things for myself. I think I did. Yep, I think I did. Never mind. But I can snatch that one and I can... Yep, 
as always, made things too complicated. There. Oh, that's that's a miserable. Uh, That's the best we can do from here. What? Oh, you can't put it on a... Uh... Nope, it doesn't want to stand on that. Hmm. That just... Now I don't know what, I just, what I'm supposed to do. What am I missing here? Hmm, I thought I had a good idea with that thing or can I no I can't do it the other way around I can't just take I can't point it upwards and because these ones I can't position them here <laughs> so I wonder what I'm supposed to do. So I... I actually kind of like this one. This one I can get to anywhere. Even though it, by just doing corners. Let's explore again. What? Oh! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Ah, so that's because I didn't have a, a light here. Cool. Okay. Now I think I get it. At long last. Means I need to position it that way, which is actually requiring me to have a light. So now we get it. Ta -da! And this one is going to be positioned this way. Let's try it. Ta-da! Bathed in light. Ooh. Can't find Arthur. I can't stop Arthur. No, can't stop Arthur. Nobody believes a man of that status would poison people like that. And apparently, losing my hair at the age of 31 isn't proof enough. I need to take more drastic measures. <laughs> and I guess you did. So this is all caused by a woman's vanity. <laughs> Whoop. How did you get all the way over there? <laughs> well, impressive. You realized how much of a waste of time you are and took a shortcut. You're much closer to the elevator. So well done, Inspector. Now, <laughs> you're not supposed to be in that part of the facility. But never mind. You will be taking what you see here to your grave. Don't worry. It's just a standard non-disclosure agreement. Ah. <gasps> so we light up that one, and then that opens up. Ooh, interesting. A new feature. Lighting up. That's kind of a hole in the ground, but we can jump it. We are excellent at jumping. Now what? Oh, I don't know. No. Doesn't do much. Whoop hmm. You must have gone through the ventilation chambers. Wait. Did you wear a breathing mask? Uh, uh no. Those chambers are littered with microcrystalline particles. Expect, since they are the lungs of light matter technologies. But instead of focusing on the years of life you've just lost, let's focus on the happy fact that your shortcut saved us uh, a couple of hours. Yeah. Great. Oh, what's that one? Ah. That does seem like that one needs to go. Bing. 
And now what? Let's take this out. This one shuts down. Uh, that looks like a timing thing. How fast? A bit too fast. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one can be here. Fascinating. You can understand my technology. Oh. Even though your brain is slowly decaying from crystalline particle poisoning. Mm. So I could take this one here. And then might actually be able to hit both of them. If I'm a bit lucky, right? I think it is hitting both. Yes, it's hitting both. Nice. There we go. Ah, uh, damn. Things are going well. Inspector, I admire competence and you've shown some. So let <laughs> me tell you some. a bit about my technology. <sighs> the panels Black that God. you lit up to power machinery, those are the photon power cells. You see, my former partner, Arthur, designed this part of the facility. And when he did, he used primitive copper for wiring. Once I increased the voltage, it melted. So I bypassed that idiocy by retrofitting doors, lifts, etc. with photon power cells. Those power cells function as both energy converters and switches. Clever, but you'll realize their true purpose once light matter makes its way into the world. Mm -hmm. All right, so the gate there was the pave wall. If you play the fee version, and get there it asks you to pay okay cool so we have paid <clears throat> all right let me just uh, reiterate um i'm i'm kind of whenever i see a new thing at the edge of my view from I'm, I'm actually trying not to just instantly glance over to see what it is because i want to get make sure that there is a chance for for mod to delete it if it's uh, if it's a spoiler because even the smallest of spoilers, and I'm also asking mods to, 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 you know, I, I'd love to talk about it, love to, to talk about sort of the, the story of it and puzzles once we get through or something like that. But um, otherwise, it'll just be like chat can, can talk a lot about. You know, when Arthur's wiring overloaded, I was fortunate enough to get stuck in an elevator with my engineers. But I make the most out of bad situations, so we had an hour-long conversation, much like this one. I talked, and they listened. Awesome. Hey, Crazy Death. Thank you very much for the two months. Welcome back. Blup. <laughs> Wondered when they said... First hour free. Yeah. Content-wise, hour. Oh, I, I think it... I like the idea of giving some part of it free because uh, then you, if you are confident enough in your game, then you're like, all right, we've um, enticed you to come along. So pretty cool. Right. Uh huh. It opens that one. What does this one do? Bloop, bloop. Mm -hmm. Oh, more stuff. And my guess is it has to go up first. That's the exit. Hmm. You see that picture? My employee 
Jews had a joke once. They made a poster that named James as the employee of the month. I liked the idea, so I had a bigger one printed. Good for you. Oh, hold on. Did that one open? No, it remains closed. What picture is it? I don't know. Do we need this one? Alright, I think I need to go up here and do something. Now I can get in here. I'm kind of feeling that jumping down would be cool. Uh. Oh! <laughs> There's another floor. Nice. Ah, that makes a lot of a lot of things easier. Well, I don't know, but it certainly, yeah, it certainly makes things easier. Hmm. get it huh jump down and get it summon it oh right okay okay never mind Never mind, now I get it. Being silly. There. Inspector, include in your report that you've used this elevator extensively I will. and you have found no problems with it. Well, some problems, yeah. There we go. Okay. And we need to focus on getting that one. Don't care about this. Used it extensively. I think that's fair to say. And we got the third one, which I think will make everything better. Obviously. Cool. Look at you, managing those lamps. I know that being in charge can feel incredible, but this is sad. What? Why is it sad? I think you're just teasing me. That one? No. That one. And that one goes here. And then we take you out. Take you up. And let's see. I can't remember where it has to hit. I th maybe it hits. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. Not quite. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Now I have to jump down and move on. Yeah, that was okay. Inspector, let me enlighten you. To invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Well, we have a pile of junk. Solar cells were a pile of junk until I got my hands on them. Ooh. I improved upon them using photon crystals and created photoelectric cells that were actually efficient. Of course, when I succeeded, a cabal of my competitors, journalists and windmill enthusiasts formed to try to undermine my achievements. Why did I expect any different? Competing with me is like an ant competing with a boot. Overwhelming. Thank you, Tom, man. Um, um, right. I like that. That was, a, that was a nice challenge, but it hinged very much upon figuring out that there was a third story. First, I think I need to grab this one. Yeah, 
yeah, we need one more. It's never that simple. I need to somehow do that. Oh, it's actually the other way around. Huh, maybe. Maybe this one? Needs to point from here to... Ah, oh, this is interesting. This is one of those uh, that Telus Principle also has, where once it's open, then it remains open because the light is still there. Cool. Uh, hold on. I think, I think this one has to be continuously. I can make this jump. I can make the jump. Cool. And I take this. Then I do what again? Allow me to clear away any doubts you might have about my photon power cells. For my initial test, I took an elevator to the top of the mountain on a sunny day. I had a coffee machine in each hand. One powered by a solar cell, the other powered by my photon cell. Within one minute, I was drinking delicious black photon cell powered coffee. It tasted like victory. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, that's what he expected. Now I can't get it open again. Uh, hopefully we don't have an error state that cannot be recovered, no? You seem intoxicated by opening and closing that door. I know. Is this the first time you've held real power in your hands, Inspector? Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, this one just... I mean, this is all great and such, right? But as soon as I move this one, this one is no longer activated. Okay, there's a retry function if you get stuck. Okay, so I need somehow to be able to get both lamps over here. One of them has to come through this location because I need it over here, right? There's no other way, right? There's no peeking hole here. Uh, no. Not. Okay, so this one. Oh, right. It's just like that. Now I don't need this one anymore, do I? This one will now go all the way down there. And... Voila! I Impressive! Hope. You're the smartest inspector I've ever met. Maybe I'm not an inspector. Sure, oh, <laughs> hold on. Oof! Alright, um, how did that actually work? Oh, right, because I was keeping the light on the opening switch as I moved over. That was why it worked. <laughs> Hold on. It has very much uh, portal vibes about sort of that overlord voice in the sky guide, guiding us with something hidden. What an interesting phone call. Indeed. My security manager, James, just got a hold of our government contacts. They told him that we were not scheduled for an inspection today. And since you are not on the guest list, James doesn't know who you are. But I do. It's obvious. You're no, a sorry. journalist. Oh. It fits. Your kind always go to such extremes for your stories. I would like to remind you that freedom of the press does not extend to trespassing. We'll have a talk once you get out. I thought that would be it might be moving one. No, no, it's just open the door. Oops. Okay.
So when there's no light, But I need light on that one as well. So I think the trick is I need to get the light here. So we are a journalist. Nah, we're an employee. That's pretty much guaranteed. Okay, I think if I'm standing here. Hmm, a journalist. I've had my fair share of experience with your kind. Always trying to make me show a sign of weakness. So let this be a reminder. I have none. Right, well that sounds like... Uh-huh. So... How about this one is here? So that once it gets to this position it will hold itself open, right? And... Boom. It'll hold itself open. I can now take this away. And I can open this one. Where does it go? Ah, so that's how we do it. Oof, bit of rumbling. Yoink! And it starts going back. Nice! We got it free. And we can't take the other one, can we? Let's see if we need it. Hmm, we need it. Alright, so how do we get the other one free? Nope. Same way, maybe? If I can... For the record, I really enjoy see. seeing a door being slammed in your face. So this is another way of doing it. How do we get you over here? That's not going to work because it's... No. No, 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 no. Something like this. I don't know how, but that just seems correct. Which means we can do that one. Oh, here. And... No. I'm kind of like... You... Now what? <laughs> now what? Let's just make absolutely sure that, I mean, I need one here, and then I need something more, yes. So I do need to free both of them. I'm not trying to do something that cannot be done. And there's no way this one can reach. So let me just think, what can this one be used for? This one can be used for illuminating that one plus the path, yes? That might be just what I need, actually. Because then I can... 
This one should be in light all the way. Sweet! Oh, that was a clever one. That was a clever one. I was just in Chaos Factory event and we broke the 500 online record with 521 players. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, Jan Dennis. I don't know. Um, uh, that's, to me, that's... As a journalist, how would you describe your process right now? Methodical? <laughs> no. Slow? Mm, if those are my options, then I'll go with slow. Uh, hold on. Hmm. Alright, never mind. I think that's way too many people in on the server. To investigate the merits of Arthur's accusations. Yes, I read the papers. I like to keep myself misinformed. Do you know what makes his lies so, so convincing? The small amount of truth he uses. Yes, light matter caused hair loss and other minor side effects. But I solved all of that with the mineral decontaminators. And what did Arthur do? He poisoned our employees. Exaggerating those side effects in his crusade to destroy me. And I'm locked in. Jealousy Next puzzle. can be so ugly. It can be so all-consuming. It consumed our partnership. It consumed our friendship. And it almost destroyed this entire facility. So, according to you, Virgil, Arthur just poisoned people to make them lose their hair. No other motives than just make them lose their hair. I mean, it fits what Ellen said, at least about the poisoning. But I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. There's a button. We click it. Oh, that looks advanced. Let's explore... no. Ah, we can run on these. Aha! Okay. Journalist, Arthur's poison project severely damaged morale. My employees weren't just losing their hair, they were losing their identity. So besides installing the decontaminators, I ordered a container full of wigs. It was a success. Everyone started using them, except me. I don't try to cover up facts. Yeah. There you go. Canon set up a server in Norway and it's free. Okay, well. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the whole multiplayer thing doesn't really do much for me. It's it's mainly for people with friends, and I don't have those, so... Did it work? Yes, it leads to keeps the light on. So, can we, no, we can't jump with this thing. Uh, I wonder if we can point it somewhere and make it useful. Not particularly. I mean, I've freed this one, but what does it do? Uh, I guess we need to sort of proceed a bit more and figure out where... Oh! Can't side jump. Do you know how I lost my leg? Before the facility, Arthur and I were climbing this mountain as it started shifting around us. The quakes mangled my leg beyond recognition, and that coward left me there to die. But I went deeper into the mountain and came back with a photon crystal. Add that to your article. I think we got further. Don't know exactly what this is supposed to do. Now I don't need this one anymore. Uh, <laughs> 
Can I free this one? I think I can. Is me a person talking? I mean, uh, he, yeah, not, not completely sound. Uh, okay, that sucks. Oops. It's like we kind of needed that one. There. What does that one do? That needs to go here, so that one gets turned on. Or uh, maybe we didn't need to do this. Uh huh. Like so. Which one is opening that door? Okay, well, that's this one. You know, when Arthur started working I can't get out. me, I needed loyalty. I found that in James, a miner who crawled his way up the food chain. Not the brightest, but the most dedicated. Don't let his title as security manager distract you from his role as my right-hand man. That locks them in. I need one light to get in and out. I need one light to load this one. Unless I can... No, there's no way I can load it from here. Shit. That doesn't seem possible. Or maybe I'm just not getting it. Right, this one closes that door, so I must get a light on this one. This one is the outbound. And I also need one. Yeah, so I need three, which means now I can't get out. If I do this, then I can't get in there. What does that do? This is complicated. See, I, my, my thought was if I can get stuff in here, then it'll be better. What happened there? Well, that's great and all, but... So this lamp isn't actually casting enough light in here to hit this one. It would have been neat though. Yep, most puzzles do feel impossible until you finally get it. Ah, fuck. The thing with this one is that there are a lot of are variables. Are you aware that astronauts are on the verge of going extinct? <laughs> yes. Astronauts. And soon homeless people too. You see, some scientists are completely unhinged when it comes to testing on human beings. I don't like to point fingers, but if you should investigate anybody, it should be Cave Johnson. Uh. When I try to push science forward, he tries to push science in front of a speeding train. Cave the man Johnson. Go back to selling shower curtains. Good old Cave Johnson. Right, so I think we actually get stuff out now. We managed to... Ta-da! We have now freed up all of these. Kind of, right? Uh, let me see. If I rotate it... Here? Yeah. Where was the opening again? How did I open this one? Uh, that I cannot remember. That was on the inside, right? Yeah. I need to free this one. Um, let's 
see. Try this. Get all three in. Yay! I think I get it. And I don't. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if this is what I actually need or not, but I have it now. I have two of those out here. I don't know if that's what I wanted. We haven't even checked where we are heading. So, journalist. That was it. You will soon be out nice. Of here. And then it's but break time, I think. Before you write a hit piece about the quote unquote deadly shadows of light matter, let's get the facts straight. The shadow anomalies are not spreading beyond the facility. They are local to the core. Mm -hmm. Also, we have had countless test runs on the core before today. And there have never been any signs of shadow anomalies. There is a simple explanation for that. You see, my engineers desperately strive to impress me. So during the launch event, one of them turned up the core's energy output. Mm. Understand, Oops. for every 100 megawatts I spend powering the core, I normally receive 107 megawatts. And today, that number increased to 111 megawatts. But I take full responsibility for my engineer's wrongdoing. I'm finding a solution, and he's finding a new career. Ah, I know Actually, that way. Right? He's probably dead. Or maybe he's me. We don't know. Right. So that seems like uh, a nice place to um, to take another little break. I'm still having a blast with this one. I I like the pacing of of the information. So we're sort of getting a bit more in. First we were in health inspector, first we were tourist, then we were health inspector, then we now we are journalists. We'll probably be something else <laughs> soon enough. Um Harris for similar artwork. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, take a short break and then we'll be back with even more of this. I'm having uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm I'm really surprised at how how good it is both the music the background the story the puzzles everything is just a blast so yeah i'm gushing a bit here so uh see you guys in just a couple of minutes